Okay, Shalom Makim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Raka Kadash. Okay, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and citations to the elect Akim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. And I'm going to entitle this lesson. When Satan is done playing you, you left with the judgment. Okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, when Satan is done playing you, you the one that's going to be left with the judgment, man. Alright? And, um, I got the news article here. I feel like this really gets me tight, man. And I actually saw the video. You know, because the video was on, on Worldstar. It was on Worldstar. And... I thought, hey, man, nigga woman is disgusting. But now, you know, here comes the judgment, which says woman who licked tub of ice cream faces up to 20 years behind bars. All right. And, um, yeah, this is her. Oh, maybe she's a, a Hispanic woman. Man. Same shit, man. You're the same woman pretty much anyway, man. All right. Because you're, you're, you're all Israelites. Okay. The so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American woman is the same woman, man. All right, because you're all you're all Israelites, okay? Just different tribes. All right, but this is this disgusting bitch right here, man. You know, opening up, you know, which they got the video out there, okay? Opening up ice cream, licking it. Oh, disgusting, man! Smiling while she's licking it, and then she just puts it back. Like, why would you do that, man? I'll tell you why she'll do that. This is a uh, First Peter chapter five verse eight. It says, be sober, be vigilant. You see that? And and, and two-thirds of our people ain't sober. Two-thirds of our people ain't vigilant. Okay, what does it mean to be vigilant, man? To be to be a watchman. Okay? To be a watchman out here, man. You know, you got the term a vigilante. You know, he's he's watching for evil. And then he goes and, and does something about it. You know, uh, under, the, uh, under the scenes, man. Okay, so our people ain't watching out for that. And our people ain't being sober. Okay, our people are drunken with the philosophies of America, man. That YOLO spirit. This is some YOLO YOLO shit, man. Some have fun shit, man. You know? Excuse my language. And it says, um, as a roaring lion, it says, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Okay? And that goes for everybody, man. America is full of wicked, uh, evil, demonic spirits, man. You know, and wicked, evil, demonic spirits does this on everybody, man. And you got, um, yeah, a demon told her to do this shit, man. You know, and she, and she hearkened unto it. Because <clears throat> I just read the scripture, Satan seeketh the bowels of the wrong mind, just seeking whom he may devour. And now look, a demon devoured her, man. Now she's going to be facing 20 years. That's being devoured, man. You know? And why? Because this is Jeremiah chapter 5. I'm going to start verse 30, 31 right to the point. It says, The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. See? Meaning, do whatever the hell you want. Um, Jay-Z said it. Oh, what, what he said again? Um, oh, do as thou wilt. You know, from, from the guys who he worships, man. I believe he got that from yeah, Aleister Crowley. Do as thou wilt. Okay? So that's the do as thou wilt spirit, man. Okay? Just have fun. The scriptures say folly is set in great dignity, man. This is folly. This is stupidity, man. But guess what? It says, and my people love to have it so. See that? So they love to have them demons on them, telling them to do stupid shit. It's exciting to them, man. Okay? And my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? See? Now what you gonna do? All right, this is the end for her ass. 20 years, in, in, really, really is not, you know, because you know the ultimate end is her dancing in those nuclear missiles, man. You know, so the fact that Satan walketh about as a wrong lion, seeking whom he may devour, right? And, and and our people actually love to have it so. They love to listen to Satan. They love to do wickedness. They love to do evil. Well, in turn, this is what happened. This is what happened. Uh, Revelations 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Okay, you see that? Now, I ain't talking about 
See, this is why you got to have the spirit of discernment. This is why you got to know the scriptures. This is why you got to have a teacher. All right. Because all of you, how about people ain't right right now. Two thirds of his people going to be destroyed. Two thirds of his people love to have wickedness. So. So who's it talking about? Talking about the elect. All right. Those that's, as the scriptures say, seeking the old path. Okay. <clears throat> you know, those that's rehearsing the righteous acts. Those that's looking to please you, how about Shema Shai? Those that's looking to, uh, you know, we're willing now. We're not willing in the day of thy power, man. We willing right now, man. You know? We been willing, man. You know? So it says, uh, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of here, my people. Now, now it's talking about the elect. Okay? That ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities, man. And that's just from our people. You still got Salaka, you still got Esau, you know, and the wickedness that he's done. All right, you still you got all these other heathens, and the wickedness that they do. You know, and feeding us swine, feeding us rats, feeding us cats, feeding us dogs. You know. <clears throat> So let me get a little bit into this article, man. Yeah, look, and now it says uh the search search is on search for the uh Lufkin liquor. <laughs> See that? So now Yeah, because it was in Lufkin, Texas. Now they call her the Lufkin liquor, man. See that? So now that now that Satan was is done using her, you know, getting her to do the stupidity, and now her judgment is about to be set. Now Satan sits back and and, and laughs at you, man. You know, he was never on your side. So now Satan's sitting back laughing at you, making jokes on you. Why like you st stuck here with this punishment, man? See that? And I, and that's the story of Job. Okay? The whole story of Job was, was the bet between Satan and the Most High. You know? And the bet was that I could get Job to curse you. I could get Job to turn on you. Now, could you imagine if Job actually cursed the Most High? Well, Satan wouldn't have got no punishment. He, see, Joe would have been the one left with the punishment, man. All right, Joe would have been the one left with that punishment. Oh, word, like most of like, oh, word. I thought you, you know what I'm saying? After I was bragging about you, and Satan was right, you cursed my name, and then, then the most I would have uh, f Job up, you know. While Satan would have been like, hey, told you, man, you know. So Joe, man. You know, honors to Job for being a, a, a honorable man and not letting Satan, Satan play him, man. Okay? And that's the elect of today. The elect of today ain't going to let Satan play them. <clears throat> All right? So, yeah, in Lufkin, Texas, a woman in Lufkin, Texas, walked into a local Walmart, opened a container of Blue Bell, licked the ice cream, and then put the container back in the freezer. Now she faces up to 20 years in prison. And that's good for you, man. That's good for you, man. You know, and here it is. She's a so-called, looks like a so-called Hispanic woman, a black woman. Like I said, it's the same woman. You know, you're all Israelites. You know, you know you're going to get double the time of, of, of Esau, man. If an Edomite did this, it would have said she faces up to 10 years. But the fact that you're an Israelite and Esau got to eat this ice cream, you getting double the time, man. You know, you got to be wise, man. Our people was... Is through. Our people is done. Okay? So now she may not get 20 years. You know, he may give her five or something. Alright? But the fact is, man, this is this is stupidish. This is a, some stupid crap, man. Okay, that's why you can't let Satan out here using you, man. Because, like, like I'm entitled to this, once Satan's done playing you, you left with the judgment. Okay? It don't matter. The Lord ain't, don't want to hear no, I ain't know. I ain't know, man. Because the prophet's been out here for uh, 30 plus years, man. Okay? Trying to tell you that this place is wicked. Trying to tell you to repent. Trying to tell you to, you know, come back to your nation, uh, your, your true heritage, man, and nationality. So it says, uh, the woman can be seen in a viral video posted on Twitter on Saturday. The person recording can be heard saying, lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back. Put it back. See that? You know, here she is in, uh, indulging. You know, and enjoying her, her wickedness, man. Because our people love to have it so. 
you know? And then you still got adultery out there. You still got homosexuality. And you know those homosexuals is, is indulging and enjoying and having fun in their wickedness. You know? Look, her face says it all, fucking bitch. You know, dumbass bitch, man. Says Bluebell put out a statement on Monday that confirms ice cream that was lit was never sold. You know, and that's pretty much it, man. You know, food tampering is not a joke. And we will not tolerate tampering with our products. Hey, well, now now let's go into, you know, a whole other topic, man, on how our food is defiled. You know, here it is. You got, we got uh, genetically modified foods. We got lab-made foods. It's sprayed with um, disgusting uh, pesticides on it. You know, um, there's a couple of states where butchers can actually pick up roadkill and cut off the fresh, fresh, fresh parts of it and sell it to stores, man, or sell it uh, to restaurants or whatever the case is, man. You know, so we got to worry about that. We got to worry about all the chemicals that's in our food. Okay. And now we got to worry about bozos, you know, like this, just licking it for fun, man. You know, defiling it, licking it for fun. You know, you got an Edomite that pissed on the um, on the conveyor belt. You know, so this place is all wicked, man. All, 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 all different ways around it, man. You see, it says they intend to arrest the woman on a charge of second degree felony, tampering with a consumer product, which carries a punishment of two to twenty years. You know, and they're probably yeah, about five, man. Okay, you know, so that's pretty much it, man. You know, just sort of stupidity, man, because this is pure stupidity that that can be avoided, man. All right, but Satan is the tempter, man. You know, like you got the brother out there in New York, you must rebuke the tempter, man. Satan is the tempter, man. I'll make you do the most stupidest shit, you know, and then leave you with the judgment. All right, once it's all said and done. Okay, so get a grip, man. You know, that's why you got to rule over your spirit. You got to be able to rebuke Satan. You got to realize that we in a spiritual war. Okay, according to Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Okay, and you got to, we got to keep our head in the game, man. Be focused on these prophecies, man. Because this is just on a small scale, but Satan can use you to do anything, man. You know? All right, to get you booted up out this truth, man. To get you in a, in a messed up situation. All right, so with that, man, I'm going to say shalom, Lord, willingness,